cheap, lazy, vegan. My name is Rose and today we have another holiday recipe for you guys and today I am making a sweet potato lasagna. Yes, I have been on a lasagna kick lately. I have been loving the lasagnas. Yes. This time we are not using noodles, like lasagna noodles for the lasagna, but we are using sweet potatoes instead of noodles. And trust me guys, this is still super delicious. It's also gluten free. So this video is extra special because it is part of a huge holiday collaboration with a bunch of other awesome vegan YouTube channels. This collaboration was organized by my beautiful friend Lisa from The Viet Vegan. And I don't know how she organized this because I could not have done this, but anyways, thank you Lisa for organizing this awesome collaboration. This basically means a bunch of us vegans, we decided to each make our own holiday recipe and then we put it all together in a playlist for you guys to enjoy. So don't forget to check out the playlist down below for all of the amazing recipes and of course show some love to these awesome vegan YouTube channels as well. Let's get on with the delicious sweet potato lasagna. All right, you guys, so before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that there is a blog post linked down below and that will have the written recipe. So if you guys want that, then you can check that out. And I also wanna note that this did not turn out as pretty as I had hoped, uh, but I'm not a fan of remaking things or just making things because it looks pretty. So just don't mind the fact that it is kinda ugly, but this is reality, okay? This is not Pinterest. The first thing I did was actually make my own sauce. Now you can totally skip the step and just buy your own sauce, which will make your life a lot easier. But I did want to make my own uh, sauce because last time it turned out really well. So I'm just using some basic ingredients and I also wanted to use some lentils so that I could add some protein into this meal. So I'm just chopping some onion and mincing some garlic. If you guys watched my last lasagna video, it is a very similar type of sauce that I made in that video and I'm also using some chopped mushrooms as well. So in a frying pan, I'm just heating up a small amount of oil. If you want to keep this completely oil free, then you can just use water. I don't know why I just used oil, but you know, that's what I did, okay? So I'm just cooking up the onions just for a couple minutes until they start to soften and then I'm just going to add the garlic and then cook that up until that starts to brown very slightly and then you can add in the mushrooms and I always say this in a recipe video but you can always alter the recipe however way you want so if you don't like mushrooms don't add mushrooms and here I am adding the red split lentils and also a large can of stewed tomatoes I'm just breaking up the tomatoes and just mixing that up and I'm also adding a bit of a water and then again mixing that up and now we can add some basil some oregano a little pinch of crushed red peppers totally optional by the way mix that up and once everything is mixed well we want to bring this to a boil and when it comes to a boil you just want to turn it down to a simmer and you just want to let it simmer until the lentils have completely cooked for about 20 minutes i would say and now it's time to make your cheese. Now, originally I was just going to make my usual tofu ricotta, but I realized I only had a very small amount of tofu left. So I'm also adding in some cashews. Now I've boiled the cashews for about 20 minutes to soften them. You can also soak them overnight. Now I'm adding these spices. I'm adding basil, salt, and nutritional yeast, and also some garlic powder. And I'm also adding some lemon juice. And then we are going to process that in a food processor. And I did it for quite some time until it was very nice and creamy. And this turned out so good. I definitely want to make this cashew cheese again. It definitely has a different flavor and a different experience than the tofu ricotta, which is also really good. But yeah, it was just really bomb. And while the lentils are still cooking, of course, I peeled and um, cut up my sweet potatoes. And once the lentils have cooked and the sauce is ready, we can begin to layer. So I cut up the sweet potato into thin, flat slices to the best of my ability, and then I layer that first. And then on top, I'm adding the uh, cheese. Now, this was a lot harder than um, I had anticipated, okay? The cheese was very thick, so it was hard to spread out. And then I'm adding the um, sauce on top. And then we're gonna repeat the process. As you can see, I cut the sweet potato slightly differently uh, this time around because it was just easier to cut it this way. And then what I did was, because the cheese was so hard to work with, I actually ended up uh, putting some non-dairy milk and thinning the cheese out a little bit so that I could just pour it, as you can see here, because I just did not have the patience to deal with the thickness again, <laughs> so yeah. 
And on the very top, I'm just going to add another layer of a sweet potato. And as you can see, I'm using a different kind of potato. And um, one of them is a yam, one of them is a sweet potato. And I still don't really know which one is which or the difference between the two. So yeah, I'm also pouring a little bit of like the tomato juice from one of my old cans of stewed tomatoes on top. Um, I don't think that's necessary, but I just thought I would do that. And I also sprinkled a little bit of nutritional yeast on top as well. And there is that product. Now, it turned out more of like a casserole than a lasagna, but you know, it still tasted delicious. So I'm just covering this with aluminum foil and I'm just going to bake it for about one hour. And after that hour, I just removed the foil and I baked it for another 10 minutes or so to brown out the top at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this was the result. Now, in hindsight, I would have waited for it to kind of cool down a little bit before I was too eager and start cutting it and trying to take it out because it was quite juicy. There's a lot of like, I don't know, juice. <laughs> in there as you can see so it yeah it was a little bit harder to um, make it pretty and cut it nicely so my tip would be to just kind of let it sit for a bit um, before you start to like get too anxious and start to cut it so that is the final product of my sweet potato lasagna slash casserole like i said this isn't going to win the beauty olympics uh, i hope yours turns out a lot prettier than mine uh, but in the end it still tasted super delicious it's sweet and savory at the same time it is so comforting and just very very perfect for the holidays so i do hope you guys give it a go and share it with your family and friends and that cashew cheese is everything Alright you guys, so that is it for my sweet potato lasagna recipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you give it a go because it is absolutely delicious. And of course, don't forget to check out all of the other holiday recipes by these amazing YouTube channels. The link will be down below to the playlist. So show them some love and learn some new amazing vegan recipes. So if you guys are new to this channel, of course, don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos. And if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!